in this lecture i'm going to do the handle so the wood handle here so i'm going to start with the cylinder and we're going to do this body the wood body and then we're going to do this metal here and here so let me take a cylinder here go to the inputs adjust the radius to match the reference here and probably i don't want this no subdivision axis numbers here so i'm going to decrease it to decrease it to somewhere 12 maybe and then let's again we can increase the height and then sorry we can increase the height then we can add few edges then match match that with the reference here so let me adjust it okay and i'm going to add few subdivision heights here very few then i'm going to add few manually so i'm going to move this and match rotate it to get that angle and let's scale it to mass mass this no width of that width scale it move it okay somewhere here and then let's mass this area something like this then i'm going to add few edge loops so let's go to mesh tools insert as loop tools this time i'm going to turn on that uh, that insert with edge flow option so that when i add an edge loop it's going to automatically adjust that you no know, that curvature but here it's giving me odd result here so i'm not going to add that you can see so at the end it's creating some weird results so i'm going to um, turn off that insert with edge flow option and then let's add few edges so whenever you create a base mesh for zebras uh, just make sure you have good you no know, good amount of uh, polygons and that should be evenly distributed uh, if i take this object as a base mesh you can see uh, there are so many edges going on this way then this direction for that you can see because of that you can see these faces are so long that means we have many edges going this direction but we have very few edges going this direction so it's not a very even distribution of polygons i should add few edges here and now it's okay so it's very important because whenever you smooth the model inside zebras and you don't have same distribution ratio then it's going to add more edges in that direction than this direction so the ideal way is to have you no know, square polygons so if you go and add more edges uh, let me add more edges here let me turn on that insert with edge flow if you do this and now you can see we are getting close to square faces it's not square but it's close it's unlike these faces you can see these are long rectangles so just make sure uh, whenever you do a base mesh you do this if it's possible let me scale down this okay so this is good and now i'm going to create the top part and the bottom part here so let's start with this bottom part so i can use this uh, cylinder to create it so let's extrude this area so we can just delete all these faces here so let's select the vertex here and press f press ctrl f11 to convert that selection to face then delete it and then i'm going to select this edge loop border edge loop by double clicking on any of these edges and now i'm going to extrude this edge so let's click on this extrude button on the self and then i'm going to 
the scale tool and scale it and then let's move it trying to match it with this area and then let's extrude again and this time I'm going to scale down a bit something like this and then extrude again and just trying to you know, match with the reference here simple stop then I'm going to detach it with from the wood then extrude and move and scale trying to get that kind of round end part here you can see here and then let's extrude again and let's scale and then I'm going to merge this you know these edges here in uh, to the center so let's go to edit mesh and use the mouse to center option uh, now you can see there is a single vertex so let's go and move that outside so that it nice and smooth there okay so this is the end part here and I'm going to select all these faces so let's select the la use the lasso select tool because it's in an odd angle so let's select it select all the faces and let's detach those faces for that go to edit mesh and use this extract option so now you can see these are two pieces now and now I'm going to add a few edge loops to hold this tight corners you can see this corner is very tight so I'm going to use the insert loops again there's, there's a tool called offset as loop tool which is uh, like insert as loop tool but with offset as loop tool uh, you can add two edge loops at the same time so for that I'm going to uh, add on the edge I want to you oh know add on the edge which you want to cover with the two edge loops you can see so it's not like the insert edge loop tool with insert edge loop tool you drag on these edges to get these edge loops I think this is good and when I press 3 in the object mode let's press 3 you can see that tight loops and uh, let's press 3 for this okay I think this is good so I might need to I might need to fill this bottom part so let's select the edge loop here to fill you can go to uh, you can extrude it you can extrude and scale like this and then you can fill this area by going to mesh and fill hole uh, you can do this and there's an insider face here to make this insider face either in either multiple triangles or quads you can use the mesh triangulate option and then go to mesh and quadrangulate you can see deleted all the you no know, all that triangulated option here you can see now there are only triangles or quads I think this is fine and I just need to add a few edge loops here to hold this area because when I smooth it it's going to smooth otherwise so okay press ctrl 1 to get out of the isolate mode okay so there is the handle and there is the bottom part here let's press 3 to check it three I think this is fine okay then let's do the top part here you can see a square kind of shape here so for that I'm going to use the cube as a starting point so let's move that and you can press F to quickly frame to the selected objects and then let's scale and try to get that basic shape here a square shape uh, which is kind of narrowing towards the top so let's select and make it narrow it towards the top like this okay, something like this and then select the face here I'm going to select this and extrude extrude this like this and then let's scale down it to get this kind of angle shape to get this angle shape something like this and I may need to select this edge loop and move it to get this thickness here and now I'm going to rotate this and mask this with the reference 
it's not 100 percent no perfect here it should be somewhere here okay something like this and then we are going to add few as loops to hold the corners when you smooth because now if i press three you can see it's a very good smooth object so let's add few as loops go to you, either you can add as loops or you can bevel these edges so i think i think we can bevel these edges so let's select all the edges of that object and let's go and bevel it and let's increase the segments to two so that we have you no know, two segments to the bevels and now if i press three you can see a smooth object so okay here i'm stopping this lecture in the next lecture we are going to do these small parts you can see these small parts we are going to finish with those small parts